Hello, my name's Sean Lusk and I'm the author of The Second Sight of Zachary Cloudsley, which is uh, a novel which is uh, out at the moment. And uh, Joe suggested uh, that I make a little video with my writing hint with um, Highland background because I'm up in the uh, Highlands uh, at the moment, uh, which is where I live. And as you can see, there's a little bit of frost this morning, our first frost. And it's a lovely sunny day. So um, my tip is as follows. Um, when I uh, was sort of struggling to write this novel, uh, I found a mentor, the brilliant writer Liz Jensen. And one of the first things that Liz said to me when she read an early draft was, you're terrified of writing a sentimental sentence, aren't you, Sean? And I thought about it and I thought, wow, you're right, that's true. I am terrified of writing an overly sentimental sentence. And I wondered where that came from, that tendency to sort of hold back on sentiment. And I think it was from my practice of writing short stories because up until fairly recently, I've really been a short story writer and I've had short stories published, um, but uh, this is my first novel. And I realised that one of the mistakes I've been making in the previous three unpublished and unpublishable novels I'd written was really to write them as extended short stories. The short story and the novel, I feel, are very, very different forms. And, and a really good short story works on, on what it withholds, not in a tricksy way, but a really satisfying short story at the end of it. You're left with questions. Why, why did she say that to him? Why, why did he drive that car uh, too fast uh, and hit that lamppost? Or things that where you're intrigued by the, mot the motivations. And I think one of the satisfying things when you finish the short story is how it grows in your mind. But Liz Jensen said to me very firmly that a no in a novel, a successful novel has to create a complete world um, where, where it's emotionally satisfying, uh, where the motivations of the different characters, even though they might not know what's motivating them, the reader has a really good understanding of their motivations and, and that's what makes a novel satisfying and complete. So I think in a short story you're, you're going to withhold certain things, you're going to create that sense of intrigue, but in a novel you really have to lay, lay everything upon the page, not so that it, it overwhelms, but so that it's it's truly satisfying, particularly as the novel progresses. So that's my tip about the difference between novels and short stories. Bye.